afternoon. Last night I finished building a bag that I recently added to my order form and it is my two tube high low bag. This is a bag that I had been asked to build for quite a while and hadn't done it uh, mainly because the high low bag is a complicated bag to build. I mean you can just look that there is a lot going on with these bags and as a bag gets smaller they get even harder and harder to build so i'd hesitated to build a 2-2 version of this bag for a long time but i was getting enough requests that figured i'd better drop some cnc patterns and get uh get started on it so like all of my bags that I feature in the videos, uh, this one is built specifically for a customer and this customer wanted some options. Uh, I've never featured a bag before that I've done in white, so white isn't a color that I can do for uh, an exterior color of the bag. Uh, this customer also wanted a leader pocket on the outside of the front pouch. They also wanted a flap buckle, an optional flap buckle on the flap for the front pouch. And I will show you later in the video, but this customer also requested that I delete all of the lure retention ears that come on the high-low. Uh, I think that this customer is going to be primarily beach walking with this uh, with this bag and even though you can tuck the lure retention ears out of the way they just wanted to completely eliminate them from the build which I can do. So that covers all of the options uh, that this customer wanted with the bag and like all of my bags uh, my bag they come with a adjustable and removable shoulder strap so let's get that out of the way so that it is not cluttering up this video. All right. And let's go over some dimensions. So the main bag, which I refer to, this is the high, this is the low, the main high bag. It's approximately, the width is around seven inches. The height is around 10 inches. And then front to back is around three and a half inches. And then the removable front pouch, again, around seven inches wide. It's about six and a quarter inches in height, and it's around three inches front to back. So the main bag, obviously it's my two tube high-low, so the main bag has two tubes. And if you've watched the previous video on the high-low, uh, it's a top opening main bag. And the reason that it's a top opening main bag is that I had re received requests to build a front pouch that was tall enough that could support storage of lures vertically. So in order to do that, I had to create a new design for the main bag that where the flaps would open at the top because there's just not enough room for a normal front opening flap to have enough usable Velcro there to be of any use. So the high-low bags have top opening flaps. So let's open this up. And this follows, if you've watched the three tube, the other high-low video that I put up a while ago, it's pretty much the same uh, inside where you have, this one has two tubes and it's also got the open top pocket that the other high-low has. And in the open top pocket, there's a stainless steel drainage grommet so that any water that gets in there will go out. And normally the lure retention ears would be in this location to cover up these, the, flat, the side of the bag to help hold lures in. Uh, but again, this customer didn't want those lure retention ears, so I eliminated them from the build. So those are the two tubes. Those tubes measure approximately three inches in diameter. They're eight inches tall. And like my other bags, between the top of the tube 
and the top of the bag, there's approximately one inch of space, and that's so that you can hang lures by the front set of treble hooks, and the lures won't tent up the bag. And now let's go and look at the, uh, the tubes in the front pouch here. So again, this customer has an optional flap buckle on the front pouch. So in the front pouch, there are three tubes and there are four bucktail and tin loops. And these three tubes are approximately five and a half inches in length, two inches in diameter. These tubes are great for holding lures like SP minnows and smaller pencil poppers. There's approximately three quarters of an inch of headroom between the top of the tube and the top of the pouch. So again, so you can hang lures by the front set of treble hooks and it won't tent up the, uh, the flap of the pouch. And if you've seen my other videos, I know I actually covered this in one where I gave an example, but my bucktail loops are large enough so that if you fish an SP minnow without the tail hook, you can tuck an SP minnow right in uh, the bucktail loop and it'll work perfectly. Uh, other similar profile lures will work well, provided that you don't fish them with the tail hook as well. So then going on to the bottom of the bag, it has 15 stainless steel drainage grommets uh, as standard, so water inside this bag evacuates very quickly. On the back of the bag, like my other bags, there are belt loops and stainless steel D-rings so that you can hook the bag to your surf casting belt with a clip and the bag won't spin around your body when you make a cast. Now on the side of my bags, you've seen this before also, all of my bags come with the buddy lock system on the sides. And I've got a couple accessories here from a different order that I'll show you how they work. So this is a player sheath that's built for uh, Van Stahl seven inch big game players, but pretty much any of the high end players that are the same profile will fit. They'll work in this sheath as well. So let's lock that on to one side of the bag here. So I've got the player sheath locked on to the side of the bag. And then I have another accessory here that I build. And this one will hold a uh, 20 ounce Gatorade or a water bottle like a Poland Spring style water bottle. And again, let's get that locked on. So there's the male piece there, the female piece is on the side of the bag. Insert, give it a twist. And then at the bottom of the, of the accessory, there is a, I call it a safety clip. It locks into the clip that's on the bottom of the bag and it keeps the accessory from being able to twist off. So in addition to carrying a whole bunch of lures, you could also carry your pliers and a water bottle with you. So the high-low bags are really nice because you can carry a pretty fair amount of lures in these bags. The, the main bag of the lure, the high bag, is going to carry lures that, you know, that we all fish, you know, even up to like GRS giants, uh, those lures will fit in the tubes. And then the front, uh, the, the front pouch of this is gonna carry your lures that are smaller profile, your smaller pencil poppers, SP minnows, red fins, stuff like that. So if you're looking for a bag that is, I would, I would call this a mid-capacity bag. Uh, the high-low two-tube might be a great bag for you. Below in the comments section, I'll put a link 
to my bag quote and order form. And on that quote and order form, it lists all of the different options that I have in terms of stitching color, other, there's people who want different color stitching, different color trim, all that's in my quote and order form. And then all of my buddy lock accessories that I build are also listed in the quote and order form. So if you have any questions, uh, send me an email, leave a comment, and I really look forward to building a bag for you. Thanks so much for watching.